So Muchella, you've been trying to tell us as we we begin this power talk. You've been trying to tell us, and let me get the picture pulled up. This person right here has been the subject of discussion. We trying to figure out who it is. Now, I have some proof of who it really is, but before we dig into that, Muchella, who do you think that is? It was somebody that I was on, we were on here last night. I don't know if it was Teresa, and we were thinking it was um Blanca. At okay, one. Larry, mm. living legend Larry, who do you think that is? Um, he kind of looks like that Puerto Rican dude that was on that show with Malik Yoba. Oh my God, New York <laughs> Undercut man! God, this, <laughs> this dude here, man. Oh, okay. that's this what it looked dude. like. That's what I first time I was like, "What's he doing on this show?" So b before before I reveal a close up, because one of my subscribers hit me on the gram, sent me a close up. Let me give you guys this little reminder. What are you doing out here by yourself? Minding my business. What's your problem? I'm good. I just want to be left alone. All right. Mm. Okay. Having said that, yeah. she went up there trying to. She went up there to try and play Tariq and got all butt hurt. Mm hmm. <laughs> now. Now that you've seen that, here's the close-up, ladies and gentlemen. What was Power trying to do to us? Who is that? Um, it looks like Yaya. I mean, Lala. Oh my God, Muchella, who no. is it? <laughs> it's it's Diane. It's, it's Diane. Diane. It's Diane. It's, it's Di And you see, she's got on the same earrings that she was just talking to Reek in. But for whatever the reason, she's extremely light. So, yes. I was going to say, why do they make that brown skin girl light skin? They're trying, to throw, they're trying to throw us off. They don't want us to know who it was. But so. I did talk up for a minute. Yeah, yeah. They, they, was, they tried to play us. Yep. That is, that is definitely Diana. So, you got Diana on one side, you got Lauren opposing her on the other side. We pretty much know the board now, but that still leaves one piece missing. Where the hell is Drew? Muchella, I give it to you first. <laughs> I was going to say something, but I'm not going to say it. Yeah, man. Don't. don't, don't. <laughs> <laughs> so, Why are you so, laughing at me? No, we're not I laughing at you. you. <laughs> We're not laughing at you. We're laughing at Larry. La sometimes, Larry be tripping. Sometimes Lamont has to reel me back in. So. <laughs> you, you first. I was going to say something, but I'm not going to say it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 Drew's, Drew's in the house. <laughs> He's just not there. Drew's, Drew's a pawn. That's all. Drew's a pawn right now. Mm -hmm. So he's so, not so going to be on there. He, Drew's a pawn. Muchella, you what do, what do you think is the purpose of Drew this season? With with I don't know. I got with with the whole scene and everything. I don't know. I he's gonna be up at that school a lot though. We already know that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hey. he's already up there all the time. Monet, yeah. Monet said that. I, I'm asking y'all. Do y'all think he's gonna he's gonna be one of the ones that die? This season, it's gonna be a death. Is it, the question is which one is it gonna be? Is it gonna be him or Zeke? Hmm. If if yeah, I, I think it could be Zeke. I, I I definitely think it could be Zeke. I mean, because the way they got Drew, Drew acting like police officers when Krispy Kreme Cream turned on that hot light. He's staying in college like he about to get a damn degree. Yeah. So <laughs> everything. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I, mean, you know, I mean, you know what's crazy too is not a single person on this show is it a is it a in a normal appropriate relationship? Because Tariq is up there with with Lauren, who's already got a man. Yeah. Diana's trying to get it to Tariq, not for the right reasons, because she's trying to play him, and then she got all butt hurt when he caught on. You have you have Braden messing with the little uh, with the little troll doll, and and she's up there because Sax sent her over there. And then you have Professor uh, 
Professor Megram that's getting it in with Zeke and oh, with Jabari. Oh, oh, oh he's getting my it God. in with his students and with his, and with his ex. No, no, Nobody's in an appropriate relationship. No, no, look, it's man. That's all in itself. Look, let me tell y'all something. Y'all are not allowed for this whole show to say Professor Megram. I don't want to hear her name. I'm not even going to bring her up. In this episode, Pierre, I don't want to hear nothing about that one. I'm so I'm disappointed in Professor Meagram's be hit. Disappointed. And you, you, didn't wanna, you don't want to talk about the fact that Zeke smashed oh. in, the, in the bathroom, in the stall, in the men's bathroom. You don't want to talk about that. She's the only woman I know who underwear get wet for locking the door. She hear click click <laughs> pew, pew. It's, it's it's like it's like a flow down click click pew pew it just flop man damn it man Zeke, Zeke's gonna show up to her class with a with a with a lock MP3 on his phone he's gonna hit that click click and she's gonna lose it in the middle of class. <laughs> okay, so happen in the background. God, see, wait, wait, see. hold on, let me take that back. Zeke's not going to class. Never mind. We'll take that back. <laughs> see, here we go. See, you and you acting like Zeke is those athletes from the University of North Carolina. The, the some of them dudes never showed up to class all four years and still got a degree. <laughs> that's a, hey. that's a, Black Fox says she thinks Drew might get killed by his gay lover once the school fund finds out the secret. Could be. Ooh, that's a, that's an interesting hot take. Could, could be. Mike yeah. Willie said. Mike Willie says he thinks Drew might commit suicide because the lover might not want him anymore. The family's going to disavow him, and then he's going to have nowhere to go. And when a lot of the times when people have um, individuals who want to come out get boxed in a corner, you do have a high suicide rate with uh, individuals in that group. So I could see that happening too. But in the first season, in the first season. I got to give it mm. up for Black Fox again. She got a good one, a, another good one. She said the professor might get pregnant and Monette might send Kane after her. That's, that's, that'll, that's crazy. Mm. I can see that happening too. Black Man. Fox, we, we're not talking about Professor Carey no more this episode. No, I know no. you didn't want to talk about Key Lock. So, I'm a, I'm not even so what if? Call a Key Lock. <laughs> so what if it comes out all of these so, so Lamar was talking about Tahada might be gay. Now what if, if people say that being gay is is a uh, is just a thing if you're born with it's just genetic. It's just you are the way you're born. So what if it's hereditary? What if Tahada is gay and passed it down to his son who's now also gay? So now what's that how's that leave things with Tahada? Is he going to is if his son come, comes out as gay or is discovered that he's gay, is the rest of the streets going to start thinking, well, damn, maybe that came from you because your wife is surely smashing every dude on the planet. You know? Who? Yeah, she she's smashing at least two, but I, I, I don't think they're going to go. I don't think they're going to go that far with it, but we do know that they're going to bring that daddy involved somehow, some way, and Drew has already told us that everybody in the family know he's like that. Right. And and uh, including the dad. And the dad still wants him to take the reins as the, the quote unquote king. So the daddy must assume that regardless of whether or not he's gay, he still can do the business. But the daddy Ooh, don't what know what Tariq what's... needs Drew on his side so Tariq goes by. Mm hmm That's true. That's I don't true. know. That's that Tariq hey. is a chess player. How far is he willing to go? Well, Miss J. Monet says Rick is going to protect Drew. And um, she said, telling the cousin on the team, which could force Drew and his boo to run off. Mm. Okay. Uh, man, the way, the, way, the, the way Homeboy was acting about his NBA career, and I'm still trying to figure out this damn basketball team. You got three dudes on the same no name college that's NBA prospects. You got Zeke, you got the white dude, and you got um Mr. Uh, Feel My Chest, Kobe Bryant, 24. All three of them is NBA <laughs> prospects. Come on, man. Don't bring up Kobe like that. He just got taken from – he was second string. So he got moved up because his grades was good and Zeke's not playing. Okay. As soon as Zeke come back, 
he's going back to the bench. Remember, he said that to him in the press conference. He did. He did say that to him. He said, but he was also talking like he has a shot at going to the next level. And right. we we know that um, I don't know Drew's boyfriend's name. Obviously, he thinks he's got a shot at going to the next level. All three of these dudes from a no name college ain't going to the NBA. <laughs> Not all three of them. Well, it's got it has to be a good it has to, I mean we don't know it because it's a fictional name school, but it must be a big school considering that Simon Stearns went there and Tariq is going there. These are school and, and Braden's going there. These are schools from powerful families that are sending their, you know, people who from powerful families and wealthy families that are sending their kids there. So it must be a good school. I guess so. Guess so. Um, let's see here. What is the people talking about? Um, but since we're talking about basketball and you brought up Kobe Bryant, what's up with your uh, what's up with your whack ass Heat about to get just about to get mopped up tonight with the Lakers wearing their retro Mamba jerseys? I mean, shit happens, man. You eat, you got to poop. Simple as that. <laughs> Next, keep it moving. All right, Chris P. What's up, Chris? He says he thinks he's thinking that um Zeke gonna get. Keylock pregnant. I ain't mentioned her name, but you know, we're not supposed to be talking about her tonight. Look, look, let, let me tell y'all something now. I'm, I'm tired of this mess, man. Would y'all <laughs> stop talking about Professor Carey? I'm going to move on to Tricia C's comment. Tricia C said that they are an Ivy League institution. That's what I'm going to talk about. Mm. All this drama going on at an Ivy League institution of higher education. Forget Professor okay. Carey. No more Professor Carey comment. I don't want to hear about her. I'm disappointed. I'm <laughs> see, he, he went so off, he froze up. You know, he just he had a he had a digital stroke. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Meagram got him so worked up, he had a digital stroke and froze up. <laughs> See, see, y'all got jokes, man. See, see, this, this, this is why we have a hard time bringing guests on the show. Because <laughs> y'all got jokes. Like, and Tre see, and see, I thought Tricia C was on my side. Now she want to pick on me about the Dolphins, man. Can y'all give me a break tonight? <laughs> the, the you want to pick these whack teams, man. Hey, man, I'm, I stay true to my fandom. I don't go... I don't go hopping around like the coronavirus. I don't go and super spread at the White House. I don't go super spread in, in Dakota. I don't go super spread at the motorcycle rally. I stay true to where I like. And you know what? You win some, you lose some. Now, if y'all want y'all want to talk about professors? Let's talk about plagiarism, Jabari. That's what I'm gonna call him, old plagiarizing ass, stealing Tariq good. That's the that's, that's the that's the professor that was smashing Professor man, Meagram, right? Come on, man. Come uh, on. Yeah, no, still, still. <laughs> that's, that's the one that was with Keylock. Oh my god, now you don't got her in. Man, you know, you know what? If y'all keep it up, I'm gonna let y'all have the show and I'm gonna leave. I, 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 I didn't say nothing about Professor Carey. We are done with her. We are strictly talking about Jabari mm. and his plagiarism. And I still want to know, how is Tariq going to use him? What is he going to make him do? He's going to make mm. him do something. Yeah, he's going he's gonna to have... Go ahead, Mooch. He's going to have him in his pocket. Yeah, I agree. He's going to have him working for some, for some reason. I don't know what it is. I don't know. Maybe he's going to use his influence to get Drew admitted to school so he can be with his boyfriend. I don't know. You know what? Yeah. That's true. That program that he's trying to get in. Right. And that program's only, what, like a semester or something? So they could do it where he's, like, gone for the summertime. So, like, after this season's over, it ends with him going to that 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 uh that semester. It's in L.A., right? Oh, Lord. He goes, to that, he goes to that semester in L.A., hooks up with Tommy. Boom, the Tommy show is on. And Tariq's out there in college working with Tommy. It's a nice tie-in. Okay. Miss Miss J Monet says, Drew not getting killed anytime soon because of his sexual status. It brings a storyline, and I can completely see that. I can completely yeah. see that. Yeah. But, but the thing is, what are they gonna do with him? He's not even on the chessboard. 
No. <laughs> like Larry said, he's a pawn. He's not even on the chessboard. Yeah. What are they going to do with him? It's a question. Yeah, he's not even. He's he's a non-factor at this point. They, I mean, they didn't even give him a spot on the board. No, nah, man, they didn't give him no no time on it. But at the same time, a spot on the board. Him or Zeke, or the daddy, or the mm. daddy, and and the daddy's supposed to be the kingpin from jail. I want to know. I want to know who's going to put hands on Braden's brother. Is it going to be Tariq or is it going to be Braden? I I eventually think that Kane going to wind up beating up the brother. I, nah. Because I, I Kane will put that. for the consequences first, and then they're going to go after the brother. Okay. Mm. okay. I think it's going to have to be Braden's older, uh, younger brother. Because I think Braden's older brother, I think his, I think Braden might be, might be, uh, have better hands than his brother. I think he might have to go after him and touch his own brother for what he did. Cause I don't think he's going to, I don't think, I don't think Braden's going to be down with anybody else putting the hands on him because maybe Tariq, if he knows what he did and Tariq is like, look, man, you know, what's got to happen, but he can't say Kane. Cause Kane's going to go out. Kane will be out of control with it. If Kane goes out there and touches some dude's going to end up in the hospital. And then it's going to mean that, you know, other authorities will get involved, but, if Brayden does it, it's just two brothers fighting. No one's gonna say anything about it, you know. Hmm. And then his brother's gonna know. Look, this is the deal. You're messing with my business. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Just you know, if you want something, you come and ask for it, like everybody else. Otherwise, the next the next beating's gonna be more serious. No. So, hmm. But I don't think he's gonna kill. Someone said they think he's gonna kill him. I don't think he's gonna kill him, but I think he's gonna touch him. Uh oh. Well, Black Fox says Braden is going to kill kill um Trace. Yeah, Trace, and have King hide the body. Hmm. Yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't. I don't. I can't see Tariq putting all of those people that close together. Yeah, I, I don't. See, I don't <laughs> see that. I th I think Tariq eventually is going to have to let um the Tahada family, the ones he's going to associate with, they're going to have to meet Braden now. I can see that because Bray, he already told Bray yeah. about the family. So I can see right. them bringing him in. Right. Yeah. Right. At some point in time, because they're doing so much business together. It's just a matter of, are they going to, are they going to kill the brother? Or are they just going to put hands on? They're going to put them paws on them. Now, right. who is this in here? I mean, y'all just won't let it go, huh? What? Greta Pegram <laughs> rhymes with Megram says, kill Jabari and Megram. <laughs> What? Hell no. Don't kill what? most of them. But you, you can off with Jabari's head for sure. What, what we need Jabari for? He's a plagiarist. He's He just likes to hang around locks for some reason. And he likes children. He likes kids that he's educating. So get rid of them. Oh, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what we're going to see. Get rid of We're going to see Jabari. We're going to see Professor Jabari. Invite in a special guest speaker. You know who that speaker is going to be? Ramona. I, I knew oh, it. Oh, Lord. I knew I'm it. I'm just it. I knew I'm it. Just I knew we it. We know it can happen. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can tell you right now, Ram Ramona ain't falling for no lock. A lock ain't going to make nothing get moist on Ramona. You can forget that. She's a She don't need the lock. She don't need the lock. Cash money. Ramona's, Ramona's like, I'll do it in the open. <laughs> you heard me? What'd you I said, say? Cash Money said Braden is gonna choke out Riley. That's Sack's niece. Hmm. Can you see that happen, Larry? It's choking out uh Riley? Yeah. Braden? Yeah. Yeah, I said that before. I said that I said that they're gonna have Braden take out his girl like uh like Tommy took out uh Holly. That mm -hmm. that that Braden's gonna Braden's gonna make his bones on that girl. Yeah. Yeah, um, I said it too, especially when he finds out what her real intentions were. Now, maybe, mm -hmm. you know, she's she I think she does legitimately like him, but she met him and came involved with him through some auspicious uh, occurrences. So when he finds out right. that the real reason for why she was there was to it's going to be like like I said in my trailer review it's Holly and Tommy 2.0. That's all right. it is. And it's gonna put it's gonna put Sax in a really difficult position because one, 
I mean, we can't forget that the, the little troll doll is part of a, from a really wealthy family. Like Saks is from a really wealthy family in New York. And and so there's going to have that where they already have all the political connects. He's an AG, so he's already got that connection. But then at the same time, if he goes after him for that, his whole case is going to fall apart because it's all going to come out about why she was there, that he sent her there, the fact that he actually was was doing this to, to re, make her repay the favor of her not getting prosecuted because those cops picked her up on drug charges and, and hand-delivered her to his office. And then he so, I mean, I there's all jail. kinds of corruption going on in there. I'm sorry, Mooch, what'd you say? I said, I hope he goes to jail because he get on my nerves. He been getting on my nerves. Who who <laughs> that, punk-ass Nancy? <laughs> Uncle Nancy. Yeah, punk, <laughs> oh, punk-ass <laughs> Nancy. Now, here's the thing. Trisha C. said, could we see some situation where Nancy decides to kill his niece? Ooh! Wow! I don't know why though. I don't. I don't know what would bring him to that point. That was some good theories tonight. But, yeah, it's, it's easy. It's easy to think that because Nancy's. I mean, um, Riley's a liability. She she knows that she illegally got tracking on Tariq's phone. The only two people that know about that is Nancy and Riley. And if she decided to flip, and she's already pretty much told us she, you know, she's a wild card. She's a free bird. If she doesn't get what she wants from Nancy, she could turn on Nancy, and then she could use the scapegoat of "I was just a kid that he coerced." I, yeah, I, I mean, I could see that, but I could, I could, I think it's probably more likely that Braden will take her out. I don't know if he's gonna choke her out or if he over, like maybe he'll slip some stuff on her because she did it to to somebody. It's it's likely. Oftentimes, storytellers like to do take people out the way they took someone else out or the way they went after someone. So we know that she tried to drug Brayden, ended up drugging Tariq. So I can see that either Tariq or Brayden actually drugs her and overdoses her, and then she ends up dead. And, and everybody would believe that because she was already in trouble for doing drugs. She got into this whole messed up situation because... Sachs put her in there because she got, you know, because she got caught up doing drugs. So if she, oh, if, if she OD'd, I don't think anybody's really going to look at it with too much suspicion. They just be like, yeah, that fits the profile, you know. So, so you saying Cooper Sachs will drug her to death? I don't know if Sachs would. I think it's going to be Brayden. I think Brayden's going to take her out. I think they're going to do Brayden. I think they're going to play uh, Brayden's character in the same sort of uh, storyline they did with Tommy. Okay. Okay. I, I, could I mean, from, from that. everything that we've seen with the writers so far, they seem to be doing parallel storylines to the old to the old power, except with new characters. So, I, I can I can very well see them putting Braden in that same sort of storyline that Tommy did, and they're going to have him take his girl out. And at the same time, it's going to have it's going to make Braden a little bit of a little bit angry and a little resentful towards Tariq, but it's also going to embolden him to know that he has the the you know he's gonna that he has it in him to do this and it's gonna make Tariq feel that he can trust him a little more to see this is what Braden's will this is how far Braden's willing to go to protect our our, our business. So mm -hmm. I think it's gonna mean a, a numerous things when he does it. I think I, that's what I think is gonna happen. I just okay. think Braden was gonna be the first person to kill somebody. What? Yeah. I said that before. Well well you know um your boy Kane didn't kill what? He done killed somebody already. So well, Braden will have to be number yeah, two. Yeah but he he's a killer. He's that's a his killer. job. Mm -hmm. But I'm okay. talking about a Tariq and Braden. Well, we know Tariq killed before too, but you know, out of those two, I think Braden's gonna be the kill do the, the, a kill this season just to prove his loyalty to um Tariq. True. Now here's the other thing that we haven't talked about is it could be that Diana takes that gun and blasts uh Lauren because she's jealous and just can't take it. She goes up there thinking she was trying to play Tariq and got all got all her feelings wrapped up. And then when she sees Tariq and Lauren strolling through campus, she just rolls up on her and blasts her and walks off. Man. Telling Man. you. Man. They say Look. nothing like a woman scorned. And, and you would have learned the true definition of that if your ass would have watched the boys last night. But that's all. I ain't going to say nothing else. I, I don't even know why I even said that. What is wrong? I shouldn't even have said that. <laughs> 
I shouldn't even have said that. But here's here's one that we 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 put on the back burner, I guess because the show has put it on the back burner. Jabari mentioned that Carrie knows Meth McClain. What is that story all about? Oh, they were smashing for sure. Man, stop it. Man, God. Come on. They were smashing. You you already know. You already know her MO. No, man. He you... had the T-lock. He probably had her in some quarters in the um law office somewhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. I should I should have never told y'all that Look. Carrie has a predilection for locks. See, now y'all just taking this stuff and running with no man. I'm just saying. No, no. I'm just calling her key lock. See, Mooch, Mooch, <laughs> damn it, Mooch. Look, man, look, man. Why is it that? Why could Professor Carey not just had a legal issue to handle with Meth McLean? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Meth McLean juggling his wife, he juggling his investigator. How he's supposed to fit in a woman that has a predilection for hearing <laughs> in his life? I'm just saying. Maybe somebody came to him to, to defend themselves from, from murdering the, and then, you know. <laughs> <laughs> See, here you go, man. I, I, I'm I just saying, we know Beth McClain smashed. We know he did. No, 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 no man. He did. Yeah, I'm no, you. no, no, he did not. Okay, just, don't, just don't get mad because, you're, because your chick isn't chased like my Ramona, you know? <laughs> Who smashed my Ramona? <laughs> no one. Man, do do not put no keys up, y'all. Stop it. (laughs) Y'all going too far. This lady is a respected woman in the community. She's a respected educator. And I demand that y'all give her more respect. Oh, she's teaching teaching some lessons, all right. I bet you Zeke learned all kinds of things from her already. You know? Golly, you know what? I, you you know what? I'm I'm gonna ban both of y'all. I can do this show by myself. Y'all keep this best up. I can I can do this by myself without so much virulent disrespect for a, a college professor. Mm. Oh my lord! See this this chick done put like twenty five keys, man. Lord. <laughs> I mean, like, damn, that's like the whole fire department gushing out, ain't it? I mean, tw- all them keys. Lord have mercy. I don't, I, you know what? Forget Meth McClain. Just forget about him and what's going on with Carrie. Just forget that story. Just forget it. What I want to know is. Get a flashback of the, of the whole mass session. No. I'm just. No. Kidding. No. What I want to know is how long is it going to be before Kane smashes Professor Meagrim? Man, what? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Man, look, man. Look, man. I'm telling That's you. That's what's what, going to happen. Zeke is going to bring Professor Megrum's home, and then Kane's going to meet her. Kane's going to smash, and then him and Zeke are going to be beefing. And then we're going to have some internal beef right there over a woman. That's, there we go. I like that. I like I that story I, I, right, I, right I, there. I, it, one, more, one more raggedy outburst out of either one of y'all, and I'm out. <laughs> what, 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 what are you talking about? I, I, I'm out. I can't, I can't. Like I said, this lady is a respected educator. I mean, You're right. And you know what? Because I know people were saying they're not going to get rid of Drew because of the whole his sexual orientation. They want to have a, an LGBT theme. It could just be that they killed Drew off and then Diana and Professor Regan's hook up. And then there you go. Now you have another situation with me Grum, and you have your lgbt storyline as well i'm just saying she goes home with zeke meets kane kane smashes and brings on a whole bunch of uh, uh, beef between kane and tariq and uh, excuse me kane and zeke professor Megrum is like i don't want any part of this diana's like i'm sorry about my family let me just drive you back to campus and then boom there you go now she's with diana too now That's you me. have the lgbt T thing, and Professor Megrams is running through the whole family. See, Larry, you think you slick, huh? <laughs> I'm just saying, storyline. You think you slick, huh? But how you like, I got a story for your ass. I got a story for you. How about 
Kane and Jabari smash, and then they decide they want to share your forehead chick from last season. How about that? How you like that story? No, nah, that doesn't really work. If you said Drew and the other dude, then maybe you would have a storyline. But you went with these with, with with two dudes that just don't even seem like they're even close to anything gay. <laughs> nah, I'm not buying that one. Sorry. Besides, Ramona's taken. <laughs> man, look, man. I, I'm getting out of this. I'm we we moving this conversation right along. Last piece that we don't talk about much, Tasha. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Ta- right. I see it now. Tasha and Professor Megrams. I see that. What? Yes. Tasha's out of jail. She goes up to campus to meet Tariq. She ends up talking to, to Professor Megrams about what? Tariq. I can see that happen. You're right. Lamont, I see where you're going with this. I'm talking about Tasha getting out of jail. Where does she fit into the business? How How is she going to oh! go? You're talking about the actual business, not the business. Yeah, the business. Problem because you got you already got Monet, and he he calls her mom. Did y'all peep that? No. Oh yeah, Tariq. Tariq. Mm. He said, "Who? Who's your? I think something about like mother and and son. She he says something like that. Mm -hmm. But she said, "Who's?" He said, she said something like, Who's, what son should I trust? And he said, me. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I, think, I think he's just doing that, trying to, trying to endear himself to her. He doesn't look at her as like a mother. He's, I mean, Tariq is smart. He's just playing her. Mm-hmm. He you know? Is. He is. But if you look at the chess boy, he got his legal side and his street side. Mm-hmm. True. Mm-hmm. And if we look at the chessboard too, there's only one king on that chessboard, which is him. So it doesn't matter which side kills each other off. He's going to be the last one standing because that's what happens. You know, or, 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 or it could be that he is the king for two kingdoms. He's running the Tejadas and he's running the people that was on his mama's side. He could be running both of them. True that. Yeah. So, well, Ladies and gentlemen, they about to make me pull out the rest of my hair trying to disrespect that that uh, that award winning professor and Professor Megram. So we're going to move. I don't this- understand it. Why do you think being a sexually liberated woman in today's time is being disrespected? Y'all can't even hear him no more, can you? Well, you muted him. I, I never ever have had to use this button. You can't before. mute me. You can't shut me. <laughs> I got a finger on the trigger, baby. <laughs> I got a finger on the trigger. This is they should have let, let me do the Donald Trump debate because I would have worked the hell out of that button. Every time he would have said <laughs> something like crazy out his mouth, I would have hit the button till he got ready to want to fight me. That's what would have happened at them debates. So but, you would have been muting him like he on a crossfader, right? Like you cut him. <laughs> man, you might would have thought he was deaf. Because he would have said something, then just stop. <laughs> what? God. <laughs> Man, golly. 